What's up, guys? So, earlier this week, Jamie Jamieson asked a question on Rotor Riot community asking, like, hey, what's everybody take to the field in their bags? So, I'm gonna do one of those today. It's a good thing that I'm doing this video today because next week I'm gonna go visit Bot Grinder and Cricket down in Baltimore and Philly. And we're gonna go rip some packs, and I needed to pack up anyway. So, I'm just gonna unpack what I packed to show you guys what I take with me on these trips. This is also just FPV stuff, not vlog stuff. If you want to know vlog stuff, this camera, that tripod, a bunch of batteries and SD cards in a separate backpack with all my cables and batteries and extra SD cards I have for my GoPros. Let's get on to this. Well, first things first, I have the QuadGuard BPX3. Three straps on the outside, so three straps. But always props off. Um, you will get cut up with your props on. So if you want to get cut up, use your props on, but props off. I don't use these outside pockets for much of anything. This is also a hard case. Um, I keep this where my, my stickers and whatnot that I give away to people. Also on the outside pack, I could put a water bottle here. This works really well, but in this case, it's almost seasoned, so yeah. You should always have bug spray with you. Go on the inside. All right, so this has a really cool feature right in here. Um, this is for your laptop, can you see? But I don't use it for a laptop. I use it for all my props, and I could carry tons, tons of props in that bag. I travel a lot. I do a lot of driving, so I, I have this portable charging rig and the cables I use are right here. So if I want to go direct battery, I have this cable rigged up or you can do cigarette lighter. Moving back to this side, we'll start here and work our way this way. So right in here is all my batteries. Everything that's LiPo that needs power, they're all in there. This big guy right in here, he's a field charging battery. So in the event I can't use my vehicle, this is my backup. It's charged, it's ready to go. AC charger, usually for charging other things, really light, but it's something worth having. It's only one outlet and a USB plug. So I could, in a sense, charge two things at once, this way and that way. Zip ties, lots of them. Little ones, big ones, always have zip ties with you, okay? Those all go in here and that's how I store it. And then that sits on top of it all. This whole compartment right here, these are all straps, just straps, straps. You, you never have enough straps, even your broken ones like this. If it still works, keep it because if you break a strap and you don't have a strap, you're gonna be really pissed when you need a strap. All right, this is a little grappling hook that I got off Thingiverse. Um, what it does is I use it for retrievals. Grabs pretty good. Files on Thingiverse, if you guys wanna hit me up, I'll send you the files. In here, spare batteries. Uh, for my goggles. My method is if it's positive up, it's charged when I'm done and I put them back in here, I do um, positive down. So that's how I know if it's charged or not. I made this myself. It's not even on Thingiverse. If you want this little design, it holds for made up PLA. Um, it works great. Just send me a message. I'll give you the file. The remaining things in here are spare batteries for my Mavic, right? I just keep those in here because I don't really have any other place for them. This is my spare part bin. Um, a lot of also accessory stuff. So, you know, this is a spare patch antenna, spare pagoda antenna, spare charging for the 18650s, you know, and then other random things that I usually take with me. We always break them, but sometimes we don't, and we still have to use the warranty. So in the events that this is not broken and you have to take it and return it in for the warranty, um, take this off because you have to use the warranty anyway, it might as well get something else out of it. And that's what I do, I just steal them, use the warranty, get a new one, and now I have a spare one of these. Should also use these. These are the protective glasses for the front of this and the screen on the GoPro. So that's what I keep in there. This is something that's pretty cool. A friend, Corey Wilton, gave me this. It's a field soldering tip cleaner. It's just one of those copper Brillo pads shoved into this little tin can and it holds really good and it works fucking phenomenal. It's probably one of the best gifts someone's ever given me. This is my, the ride along screen, right? So that's what this is. This used to be an old head play screen, goggles, uh, but it works really good. And now your partner or whoever walks into you is like, hey, I wanna see what you're doing. Or if you're just like, hey, do you wanna see what this is like? This is a great way to do that. I always take one of these with me. I, I strongly recommend you guys do something, at the very least, at least one of those little watches, right? So people can see what it is that we're doing 
and how malicious it's not. The only thing in here is my Mavic. I keep my Mavic in here because sometimes I want some cinematic B-roll, sometimes I want an aerial view, or most times I use it to scout and rescue quads that get stuck on rooftops and whatnot. Here is my neck strap. These are my tools. Um, I don't carry a traditional tool thing, I just carry a pouch because it's just easier for me. So I get an X-Acto knife because you never know what you're going to need to cut. This is probably the most used tool, which is the two millimeter needle nose pliers. Always invest in a very nice um, set of flush cuts and when I say flush cuts I mean flush when you close these up there's no gap here solder my TS 100 soldering iron always carry that electrical tape two and a half millimeters always have a 5.5 millimeter some fine tipped needle needle nose tweezers a universal Phillips flathead screwdriver the really small 1.5 millimeter allen head and then this guy this is probably my most favorite tool <laughs> this is my prop tool and it has you know a lot of leverage to be able to get down there and and bite down um it works really 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 well and this is my favorite prop tool i have this right here as a backup prop tool in the event that i forget this um it's just nice to have if you plan on doing field repairs so this is the bare minimum that i recommend if you're going to do any kind of field repairs this back has another spot in here for for an extra quad so that's what i'm doing with this for one in here really simple I have my goggles which includes spare batteries and the antennas and everything I'm going to use and my transmitter you know I just use gimbal guards because there's a lot of weight on top of this and I don't want them pressing and ruining my gimbals at all and I keep this on because this pouch allows for it these are my bigger spare parts so I have a spare immortal T um, these are arms for one of my quads is the dilly frame but that is it that is what's in my bag, people. All right, we're in. Zipping up. I like to put my prettiest squad right on the top, so right now it's the marmot. This is the dilly frame. I'm not gonna talk about him too much, um, but if you wanna know more information, hit me up. I'll get you in touch with the creator. And that's what I take with me into the fields. If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment. Hope you enjoyed this vid. Let me know what you guys think, again something new just trying things out later Watch.